All right, welcome back, everybody. Uh, looking out across the Helena Valley, you can almost see uh, some of that moisture. The inversion is the atmospheric setup that traps the cold air and the moisture, and some of that uh, debris burn smoke uh, was up on Mount Ascension, kind of moving right down in the valley. And how about this? 30 degrees, 26 out around the East Helena area. And then you go up to Great Falls, and it's 52 degrees. Wind up to about 13 miles per hour. Look at that difference, though. Helena, 30. Great Falls, 52. 49 in Butte, America. Missoula, Kalispell, also very close to the freezing point. And there will be freezing rain issues in the valleys of western and central Montana, specifically over there around White Sulphur Springs tomorrow morning. Calm conditions, Kalispell, Missoula, Helena, allowing that cold air to settle right there into the valley locations. Of course, out across the plains, we have a little bit of wind. That's allowing the temperatures uh, to get well above the freezing point. But tomorrow morning, between around 7 and 11 or 12, that's when the winter weather advisory goes until. But freezing rain in the lower elevations, Townsend, Tostin, Three Forks, down to Bozeman, if anybody's traveling that way. Wolf Creek Canyon, certainly over the Blackfoot Valley, Sealy Swan, looking at some very slick conditions. I don't use this word often, treacherous at times tomorrow morning in a few locations. There's the beginning of the next storm that's moving in. It's mainly rain, but when it moves in and that rain falls into the valleys that are trapping that cold air, we'll have some freezing rain, freezing right on contact. Doesn't take a lot of precipitation, a lot of freezing rain to make it an ice skating rink out there on the road. So tomorrow morning, Great Falls, just plain old rainfall. It's not freezing. Helena, though, the valley over around the Lincoln area will be very, very slick. White Sulphur Springs uh, as well there. But eventually, as we get a little later into the morning and then by the afternoon, temperatures should go up above the freezing point for just about everywhere. And it's mainly a rain event. Could have a little rain, snow mix, some ice outs. The High Line here, the Milk River Valley between Havert and Glasgow. Some showers continue into Thursday night, and then it's more showery as we head into Friday. Some mixed rain and snow showers, some sun and also some wind, and enough wind on Friday to scour out the inversion. So the precipitation won't be great, it won't be tremendous, but again, just a little coating of ice on the roads and the valley locations will make things very slick. Here's the forecast for tonight. Close to the freezing point, but see Great Falls and Cascade, Augusta even staying above the freezing point. Teens and 20s out across northeast Montana, warmer around Lewistown and Helena close to that freezing point, which should set the stages for some freezing rain tomorrow morning, plain old rainfall by the afternoon. Please be careful tomorrow morning. Also a little ice out the high line here. Friday, windy, scouring out the cold air in the valley locations. We'll get up into the 50s here. No issues really with any ice on the roads. Heading into the weekend, the first one of November. Saturday night, we fall back, and Saturday night, the next storm will be moving in with some rain and a couple rain and snow showers that will linger into Sunday. Here's the seven day forecast for Helena. So, very icy tomorrow morning, rain by the afternoon. Another storm comes in Saturday night into Sunday, and Great Falls, no issues on the roads around town Thursday morning.